Hey YouTube, CC. Um, I'm here to do a video on another. Sorry, I'm trying to get my camera straight. Another video on how I straighten my hair. I started making the video, and my sister decided to call me because you know I'm working on my phone. My sister decided to call me, so I have one side straight. Uh, I am going to dip it one more time, so I will be able to show you all. Uh, I can't even remember what I was saying in the last video. It was like it wasn't. Even, it was like two minutes long. So, um. So you just separate, oh, for this video, I'm going to use a towel instead of a t-shirt. This is just a plain black um, hand towel. Um, so I'm going to use that just to see what happens. I'm not really worried about it. Uh, I plan on taking this out in about three weeks. Um, that'll make it a full month or six weeks, somewhere around there. And that way I can take it out, condition my hair, and do everything that I need to to my hair, and I may get a full sew-in or box braids next time. So, uh, for this video, you'll need hot boiling water, and you can see the steam coming from it, and it was hotter before, um, a ponytail holder, and I'm going to use Jam, this is the light hold, very light hold, uh, I'm just using that because I do not have mousse right now in my apartment. So, you're going to take your hair and just take your fingers and run apart down the middle of it and then you're going to take I'm only focusing on the ends because of the style I want to do a simple ponytail kind of like a lot of people call it the Kim K ponytail or the Kim K um, bun I'm just going to do a ponytail because of the shirt that I'm going to wear today and this is the one that I'm wearing today I actually look a little rough right now so this is the side I've already did but I want to show you um, I'm just dip I'm focusing on the ends because if, as you can see, if I take this side that I haven't already dipped and hold it up, the ends look kind of snaggly for a ponytail right now. So I'm just straightening the ends, um, kind of like when you, you know, like when you put your hair in a wrap, like your hair, or when you have full sew and you put it in a wrap, and sometimes you have to bump the ends a little bit or curl the ends a little bit. That's kind of like what I'm doing, except I'm straightening the ends of the braids, the twist. Okay, so you want to take, um half and you just want to dip it in the water like this and we're focusing on the ends right now I may go up a little bit more just to make it extremely straight and then take it out of the container and then take your t-shirt or towel whatever you decide to use and dry it now I will say it gets a lot drier and you don't have water um, not necessarily dripping because it doesn't drip when you use a t-shirt, but, um, you don't have a lot of water because 100% canackling hair does retain a lot of water. Alright, hopefully my sister doesn't call me again so I can finish. <laughs> so, um, you're going to do the next side and we're just going to dip it. Now this side... I don't think I did a part, like a straight part, and it doesn't have to be straight. This side um, has more hair, so I'm dipping it a little bit more longer. And a couple of more times. And then you just want to take your towel. Alright. Straight. It looks straight enough and I like it. And sometimes I'll test it like before I prepare to put it up. I'll test it and like put some of it up to see if it's as straight as I want it. And yeah, that's straight enough. It's pretty straight. So next, um, before I put anything on my hair before I dipped it, I forgot to tell you this. I put some coconut oil on it. Um, well, I actually did that a little earlier today. Um, I put a little bit of coconut oil, and you can tell how hot my water was because a little bit has melted, and I just set it in there for a little bit. And you can see how I made it movable in the applicator bottle. So I just took the applicator bottle, ran through the scalp with coconut oil, and then, um, that's all I did for that. The next thing I'm going to do is spray a little bit of oil sheet in it. I know that I said I was, I was going to stop using mineral oil and sulfates, 
but I'm going to decrease the use of them um, because my hair for some reason I don't know if anybody has like any type of uh, I'm pouring my water out if anybody has any type of oil that they use that doesn't have like mineral oils in it let me know because my hair gets really dry and like scalp scaly kind of like it's not that it's dry it's just that it has a lot of like dandruff in it and um the castor oil that i use if you go far far back in my videos uh, you can see the castor oil that i use and that helps the dandruff so i'm trying to find something that doesn't have the mineral oil in it that helps dandruff so just let me know if you have anything so next we're going to put up the ponytail we're going to actually do the ponytail and this is where you just do a basic grab of all of the hair. And actually before that, I'm sorry y'all, you want to take your mousse or your gel. And this is the light hole and something happened to it, but it made it really liquidy. Can you see that? I don't know what's up with this gel, <laughs> but it made it really liquidy. Um... And I actually like it this way because I do not like these a lot. So I just like get a little bit. You can't even see it on my finger. And then I just take it and I put it at the top part as well as the bottom part. But I focus not necessarily on my hair, but where my hair and the fake hair begins. Um, so where my hair ends and it's only fake hair, that's where I put it. And that just gives it a little shine and a little sleek. Alright, now we're going to put it in the ponytail, and this is just how I put mine in a ponytail when I want a, an, an extremely high ponytail. Now you're getting the side view right now. Um, I am going to turn around so you can get the front view. And um, this is the hardest part for me because I'm kind of particular about... Um, how the braids lay on my head so this can take <laughs> a little time and sometimes I have to drop it and start all over again if I'm not satisfied but I don't think that's gonna happen this time and it's almost like you're putting your own hair up in a ponytail always have to smooth down the back more than the front and you're still getting a side view because I have to look in the mirror alright so I think this will do because um I'll straighten it out a little bit more when I actually put the ponytail holder on. You just want to make sure that all the braids are up and that you are happy with the formation. Oh, my ponytail holder just broke. So I'll be right back. Sorry. Alright, so I have another ponytail holder. And you're gonna put it around. Make sure you pull all your braids through. I'm gonna try to hold the actual braids with one hand at all times. Just to make sure they all get through. And because your hair is still wet, you have to be careful because it will take shape. Oh, dang. Let me go get a rubber band. My phone's all to keep breaking, y'all.
Alright, I'm back. Sorry, this video was extra long because I had to keep walking out. But, um, as soon as you've already seen this part, um, not Now, if this one probably, I'm just going to tell y'all good luck and help you figure it out. Alright. So, it's not as high as I wanted it. Um, it is a nice height, but usually it's like up here. Um, I may do another short video. So I'm pretty satisfied and then I spray a little oil sheen on it and that's really it. So you now have a Hollywood style ponytail like people wear with their full sewing <laughs> except you're using your braids. Um, and I love, I just like this, you can either dress this ponytail up, like you can wear anything with it, or you can dress it down, kind of like now, you know, it look like I'm just chilling around the house, but when I put on my dress shirt, it'll look, you know, kind of present, it'll look presentable, it will look presentable. Um, so that's really it, comment, rate, subscribe, whatever you want to do, like, thumbs up, whatever you want to do, just let me know uh, what you want to see, more Senegalese styles, I know this really isn't a style, and probably everyone knows how to do this, but I just wanted to do a more simplicity type ordeal, alright, I'll talk to y'all later, bye.